Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Destiny. Today we see a really interesting video and Asen will tell us the reagents that we are going to use in a moment. So for this experiment we are going to use three things. The first is copper sulfate, then we are going to use a common table salt and at last we are going to use some aluminium tin foil. As you can see these reagents are all simple to get and in fact we did this experiment for those of you who want to try this experiment again. So for this experiment we are going to do three things. Uh, the first one is between uh, copper sulfate uh, and aluminium. So for this experiment first uh, we tried uh, to put uh, aluminium foil and it was only one sheet. Uh, what we observed is uh, that uh, it wasn't uh, strong enough. So uh, in the next uh, experiment uh, we are going to do it uh, with uh, three sheets. Said so that, uh, let's uh, see how the experiment uh, is done. First, we're going to prepare a solution of copper sulfate, which uh, uh, must be concentrated enough because the copper is contained in this solution. Then, we're going uh, to prepare a solution of sodium chloride or a common table salt, which doesn't have to be so much uh, concentrated. Uh, after, uh, we are going uh, to uh, put on a beaker uh, a bit of uh, tin foil, as, a bit of uh, aluminium foil, as we show you in uh, the video and uh, we are going to pour our solution in the cup that is formed uh, with this aluminium foil. Then the reaction is going to start and we will see the copper uh, uh, metal forming. The reaction that is happening in this uh, solution is the following. As you can see, copper is produced from uh, this solution and in fact that's why because uh, um, uh, copper is a, a more noble uh, metal than the others and it is produced from this reaction. Also, what you can see is that hydrogen is produced and in fact uh, this, is, this causes the, uh, that uh, form of uh, copper that you can see from this experiment and so in this way we can see that uh, the aluminum foil uh, becomes uh, much thinner uh, when the action goes on and that's why uh, at one point it breaks down and uh, the solution falls down. These roads intersect on each one I reflect These lines write my story These places change me, each one replacing Like night into morning So the second part of the experiment is going to make reactor magnesium ions with aluminium uh, a little spoiler, this is, isn't going to happen. Uh, so, the first thing that uh, we're going to do uh, uh, is of course to obtain some magnesium ions, uh, which are not uh, freely uh, found in nature. So what we're going to do uh, uh, is uh, to uh, take our magnesium powder and make it react uh, with some hydrochloric acid. Uh, then uh, we're going to take this solution uh, and of course filter it of any uh, remaining magnesium because we may react an excess of magnesium with hydrochloric acid and then uh, we're going to repeat the same procedure by putting some uh, uh, aluminium foil on top of a beaker and pouring our solution on top of it. Uh, of course we're going to add a bit of uh, uh, salt uh, solution, salt chloride solution and we're going uh, to wait and see what happens. The result that you can take from this uh, experiment is that uh, aluminum tends to uh, stay uh, in a metallic form uh, much more aggressively uh, than uh, magnesium and in fact that's why the reaction does not happen. In fact another result that we could deduce from this reaction is that if we mix a solution of aluminum uh, ions and magnesium uh, the reaction does happen and uh, aluminum uh, in a solid form is produced. Guess I'm better off alone Never know when I'll get home But I know that home's where the heart is 
So the first part for this experiment uh, is going uh, to make react the zinc ions uh, with our aluminium foil. So in this experiment, of course, uh, we have zinc in a powder form, uh, so we're going to have to transform it into an ionic form. To do that, uh, we're going to make react zinc with hydrochloric acid, uh, as we did in magnesium. Uh, this time it will be a little bit, of, bit uh, problem because uh, it doesn't react so well. Um, after that, uh, the solution that we have obtained, uh, we're going to filter it uh, and make it react uh, uh, with uh, uh, the aluminium, uh, which is going uh, again to be put on top uh, of a beaker uh, in order to form a small bowl in which we're going to put this solution. And this solution, we're going to add, of course, uh, the table salt solution. Then uh, we're going to see that uh, the reaction isn't happening a lot, but we see just a bit of bubbles forming, and Domenico will tell you why. So this reaction does not happen for a different reason than the one that we did before. In fact, even though this reaction is thermodynamically spontaneous, it is not cinetically spontaneous. In fact, the zinc is really slow to react with uh, aluminum, the zinc ions, and that's why we can see bubbling formings because the reaction actually happens, but we don't see uh, any zinc forming because the reaction happens so slowly that the zinc uh, produced is really uh, is in a really little amount, and in fact, we will have to wait a long time before we see the zinc forming. So guys, the last thing that we want you to know is that zinc is really difficult to uh, dissolve. In fact, uh, we have used an excess amount of acid and even though we have been able to dissolve all of it and uh, we just have to take a solution of it and we have filtrated uh, what is left from uh, the dissolving. Uh, and that's why we used a solution of uh, sodium hydroxide in order to neutralize all the acid in excess and we want you to really be careful in this process because uh, uh, acid should not be in the solution because it could oxidize aluminum but otherwise uh, um, the sodium hydroxide must not be used uh, in a, a too big excess because it could precipitate uh, the zinc oxide so uh, the, the zinc hydroxide so you should just use an intermediate amount of it so everyone if you like this video please write in the comments if you want to see more videos like this go with your page subscribe to it that's all thanks for watching guys